was okay with it. He thinks it's a great idea. He can't wait to meet you. Lionel Trippy. Yeah. Lionel Trippy thinks hiring me was a great idea. Why are you surprised? Well, because I'm a Republican and Lionel Trippy is incredibly not. Lionel Trippy is the White House counsel. He is a brilliant and fair-minded attorney and he will accept you on his staff because he is, well, fair-minded and because... We... You haven't told him yet. I have, in fact, not told him yet, no. So you lied to me just then. I'm a politician, Ainsley. Of course I lied to you just then. My first day is getting off to a great start. It's about to get better. Why? Leo? Yeah? Lionel Tribby is on his way over. I just want to die. That's the White House. You get used to that feeling. Maybe I should go. Ainsley. No, maybe I should go so you two can talk by yourselves. You're going to meet him right now. It's going to be fine. It's not going to be fine. He's going to yell and scream. I've seen him on TV. Well, that's TV. He's making a full-throated defense of the president. That's what we do. Believe me, in real life, when the cameras are off... Help! I will kill people today, Leo. I will kill people with this cricket bat, which was given to me by Her Royal Majesty Elizabeth Windsor, and then I will kill them again with my own hands. Lionel. Has anybody in this building heard of contempt of Congress? Look, if I may... Congress will hold the White House in contempt, Leo, which is nothing compared to the contempt in which I will hold the White House if this keeps happening. What did we do? Steve Joyce and Mark Brookline testified at governmental affairs that the White House couldn't produce the Rockland memo because the White House didn't have the Rockland memo. Do we? Holding it in my hand, Leo. Oh, I'm sure there's... When your guys go to the Hill, they can't drop their testimony on my desk at 9.15 and testify at 9.30. I was ready to take a vacation, Leo. I was going to go someplace warm with a beach. Somebody bringing me drinks with little umbrellas in them. I have this thing closed now. I got to go back up there hat in hand because the circus is in town. Who is this? This is Ainsley Hayes. She's scared of meeting you, so be nice. Uh, the girl who's been writing the columns. Yeah. You're an idiot. Leo. She's not an idiot, Lionel. She clerked for Dreyford. Well, Dreyford's an idiot. Dreyford's a Supreme Court justice, Lionel, so let's speak of him with respect and practice some tolerance for those who disagree with us. I believe as long as Justice Dreyford is intolerant toward gays, lesbians, blacks, unions, women, poor people, and the First, Fourth, Fifth, and Ninth Amendments, I will remain intolerant toward him. Nice to meet you. She's working for you, Lionel. Excuse me? She's working for you. The president asked me to hire her for your office. The president of what asked you to hire her for my office? The United States. <laughs> Excuse me. I thought it went pretty well. Our farming families stand for the values that keep our nation strong, faith, Calm, perseverance, and patience. Mr. President, have you lost what little was left of your mind? I can't possibly work like this. Oh, dear God. Cut. I had it. Excuse me, sir, is this a bad time? It's a bit of a bad time, Lionel. Well, forgive me, sir, but when you have a few moments, I would like to discuss the hiring of blonde and leggy fascists whose knowledge does not include the proper order of the alphabet for positions in the White House Counsel's office. And we will, Lionel, but right now, I don't know if you've noticed, but there are 30 or 40 other people in the room, many of whom have donated significant amounts of money to the Democratic Party. So perhaps you could get a tighter grip on your horses, and we will talk about it later. Yes. Well. Good morning, everyone. Good morning. Thank you, Mr. President. <clears throat> well, obviously, Lionel Tribby is a brilliant lawyer whom we cannot live without, or there would be very little reason not to put him in prison. Let's try again.